Hey cruisers, I got some news for you today. Not the best of news. Uh, there was a COVID case on a Genting cruise line cruise ship, the Dream World. Uh, this is a uh, uh, departed out of Singapore, and it was a four-day cruise to nowhere. So you know, of course, with I think most all cruise lines, before any passenger boards the ship, they have to do a rapid antigen test, which of course they did, and everybody passed, and then they boarded the ship. And once again, this is a four-day cruise to nowhere. And this particular Genting cruise line and the cruise to nowhere is only for local people in this city or the local nearby cities of Singapore. So it wasn't for U.S. or any outsiders. But in any case, so everybody passed the, uh, the quick antigen test and they got on the ship. Well, at some point in time, the cruise line, Genting, they do contact tracing to follow up on, on passengers. They discovered that one of the passengers, I believe is a uh, approximately a 40-year-old male, um, was in contact prior to boarding with somebody on land who had tested positive for COVID. So as soon as they found that out, they sent out a shipwide notice at about 1 a.m. Uh, ship time notifying everybody to remain in their cabins and i believe that included the crew members so the the cruise ship uh ended up back in singapore at about 6 a.m but what they did is they made sure that that particular person who had a contact or was in contact with somebody that tested positive remained in their cabin until they did another test and then they found out that this person was positive. So they tested positive for uh, COVID-19. Now with Genting Cruise Line, they, they were, they've been cruising since November 20th of 2020. And since that time, they've had over, or I shouldn't say over, they've had approximately 103 uh, voyages, cruises, with uh, approximately 130,000 passengers. And that's from uh, November of 2020 up until July, approximately July 11th of 2021. So this is the very first time that this has happened, first case. Uh, irregardless, just want to let you know that information. And so here's the takeaway with this. If you're going to be around some people that you're not familiar with, like in a small group setting or a <laughs> large group setting, if you're going to a party, a wedding, or anything like that, uh, Consider taking your own quick antigen test before you board the cruise ship or several days prior to, you know, the 72 hours type of deal uh, on your own just to make sure that you're, you're safe. If you are familiar with the people that um, are in the wedding party or a group of people that you're around, you might want to kind of ask them, hey, have you been around anybody that has been tested positive or anything like that? That's just to make it better for yourself and for everybody else that's going to be on the cruise. Because think of it this way. On this particular cruise, it affected just over 1,600 passengers and over 1,200 crew members just because of one person. And you don't want to be that person. Anyhow, hopefully you guys are considering on taking a vacation sometime this summer. And if you do, be safe and have a good time. Until next time, we'll see you then.